Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a look at sprints, using sprints and boards. If you're used to using um, projects using Agile or Kaiban or Scrum, you may be more familiar with boards than this sort of list. So in Project, you can activate those features. So first of all, let's go and get the sprint so go view other views more views and sprint planning board is what i want in fact planning sheet sorry apply that so it's come up with a sprint column there's no sprints allocated so i need to add some sprints so when you come into this you've got one sprint two weeks duration but if i want to add put this down to add sprint add Add, just change a few of these. Add, add, and so on and so on. So you just create your sprints there, and you've got your start and finish dates that you can change if you so wish. But I'm just going to leave everything as default for now. Click OK to that. Now, as soon as you do that, you see this tab appear, sprints, where you've got a task board, which tells you. Um, percentage complete etc and you can set that if I just set this to 25 set complete 50 and that's 100 let's add a new column still going and set the complete to 75 on that one so obviously that's now in the wrong place so if I right click on that I can move it to the left and then it's in the right sequence so that's how you can do that and then these basic would just move across and you would just drag and drop these and if i right click on these you can um, mark these as 100 percent complete you can double click into it you can delete them you can assign resources well resources are already um, on there you can see that already now if i go back to the next one planning so these are the sprints that you've set up uh, these are the tasks that you've got so they're the same tasks as that you have in your Gantt chart, but now you've got them um, in your sprint, which I can't find now. That's it. That's it. Okay. Um, you can add these views into this list. That's what I was looking for there because um, I've already done this once and I put them all down here. So basically you're, it's a case of putting the, these across into the relevant sprints that you've set up. Um, it's just a case of dragging and dropping them really. And you don't have to allocate them to a sprint. I'll just do do that bit. Um, manage, that will take you back to um, this percent complete option. And then that will allow you to add extra sprints. Okay, so what I've done is in sprints, I've noticed that this one is set to April. That's why nothing's coming up on the first sprint. So I, I should have changed the project start date. And this is probably going to cause a bit of grief now if I try, try and change this to today. Mm, nothing's jumped out at me, but this probably has caused a bit of grief. If I go into manage, it hasn't changed that first date, but I'll put that to let's put that to the nineteenth of October. Monday the nineteenth of October. So they've all changed now, so that should um, fix that. But that's why there's been nothing coming on to sprint one. So if I go into the plan planning sheet, I've put everything back to no sprint. So I'm just gonna go back through that. Um, I'm not going to use Sprint 1 because obviously it's gone into the past. So starting off with Sprint 2. So these are going to be on Sprint 2, for example. Then this one is going to be Sprint 3, Sprint 3. And these are just going to follow on 4, 5, 6. And the last one can be 6 as well. Now, obviously you can set as many as these up these are weeks remember you can set these up to multiple weeks so you may not have that many sprints but um, if I 
click on to the sprint the current sprint is sprint 2 if I go to so that's today's date that's why it's coming up with that that's in the past sprint 3 there's only a couple of tasks on there well I'll go to sprint 6 because there's two on there as well so then you can go to the current sprint board which will show you only the tasks that are due this week and then you can move these across into the relevant place and if I go to no sprint it just shows there's nothing in no sprint and then back to this one back to manage if you need to add extra ones and then if I go to the task board you can then start moving these around um, if they're complete now if I right click on these I've already shown you this but you can mark them complete there but if you do mark them complete you should have moved them into that column there but if I go back to um, current sprint board this is really where you should be doing this so this is the stuff for this week so if I say that is complete you get a little tick coming up as soon as I drop it in there and I'll come across and, and do that and say that's complete as well and I get another little tick so basically you're using projects not really using the Gantt charts as um, your main driver but you are using I'll just get the task to come back across you're using the boards through the sprints tab to update things you can see it's already updated them in there they weren't doing like that before but now because I've moved them across on here and saying they're complete they they are complete and if I'll go back to the current sprint this week you can see that those two are showing there so basically using the sprint feature you are you are creating a sort of filter for your project plan and you're only looking at the the tasks that are allocated to that particular sprint and then the board will um, allow you to see how everything is going all together but the sprints you can isolate like so there's that awarded tenders completed and if I just put that across there as well that will complete so that should now have made four tasks complete on the Gantt chart which it has done which is great so it's a different way of working in projects but it's all to do with how you work as a project manager and what you're used to um, some people find working like this with a Gantt chart quite difficult it's not easy to see where when you're looking at sprint boards it's a lot more easier to see and you're only looking at a small element I suppose the downside for me would be you're not looking at the big picture perhaps whereas in a Gantt chart you could have multiple projects linked in and you are seeing a big picture although the boards themselves it's just how, you, how your mind works I suppose what you find easier but that's all I wanted to show you how to get the sprint so just a quick recap you went through the view tab other views more views and then the sprints are in here sprint board sprint planning board but as soon as you create some sprints your sprints tab will activate and then you can use it uh, depending on what version of project you've got you may already have the boards uh, down down here and for those who do stuff with me or, or follow me you know that I always right click and tick this view bar on I just find it easier to um, see this list however having said that it does get a bit cluttered when you start adding lots of different views in but it's it's what you're used to I suppose but this this sprints tab gives you all, all that you need to need to see really you've got the um, format options you can customize these cards to show extra fields um, so you can tick that well, well, let's do percentage complete actually in there so you can see it even though you're putting it into a column and then I'll say what the actual start date was that's a nice one to know so you've got five extra uh, five extra columns that you can put in here I always like to see actual cost actually so if I click OK to that the boxes are going to get bigger the cards are going to get bigger um, but you now see extra information looks better I'm liking that a lot very pretty let's put that in there eh? all right but that's the end of this little session on sprints and cards so I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one